we play celebrity true or false with some of our celebrity guests. Blake, you qualify on that front for sure on this show uh, where we go through your history and whether what's online about you is true or false. Would you mind playing that with me right now? Let's do it. Let's I'm do not afraid. Hit it, Maybe hit I it. am a little afraid. But okay, I here we go. We'll do it. But either way, just jump into the abyss. Here's uh, here, we even have some production value for you. Go for it. Hit it, please. Celebrity, true or false? You can't handle the truth. All right, there you go. That's it. that's it for the production value. Uh, first <laughs> yeah, one. Impressed. First one up for you. True or false, Blake Anderson? Your first TV gig was doing backyard wrestling on public access in your hometown of Concord, California, as a character known as Rockabilly Rex. True or false? Absolutely, one hundred percent true. Mm-hmm. I was recognized at my movie theater job tearing tickets, so it, that makes it a success to me. Huh. So, what movies were you tearing tickets for back in the day? What were you... uh, well, I worked at a local theater, Brendan Theaters, and uh, probably the, the the coolest movie that was in the theater at the time was Kings of Comedy with oh. Bernie Mac and Steve Harvey okay. and D.L. Hughley and Cedric the Entertainer. And we're, that's why we're trying to we're trying to peg exactly when this was when you were Rockabilly Rex, and I guess that leads into our next one: True or false that you had back surgery after fracturing your spine during a house party? When you jumped from your roof onto a beer pong table, is that true or false, Blake Anderson? That is also, unfortunately, very true. Wow. Yeah, I thought I would uh, kind of NBA jam, slam dunk a, a, a final beer pong ball into the cup. I jumped off the roof, tried to make it look cool, ended up looking pretty stupid. But <laughs> we're up and we're walking today, so Thank God. hey, how much, and learn. How, 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 how much of a drop off the roof was it, Blake? Um, I don't know. It, I it was just like off of I do I would say 13 feet, but let's say it was 30 just to make it cooler. That does make it sound a little bit more frightening. Okay, so you're yeah. ro- basically are, are those two things con- connected? Your backyard wrestling and your your beer pong table roof jumping. Those I, are connected, I, I imagine. Oh, for sure. I mean, there's a reason that before you watch pro wrestling shows now they're like don't try this at home. I'm the I'm the reason. Uh next one, uh true or false, you're a pizza delivery man in college and occasionally would heist a pepperoni or two off the delivery pizza without anybody knowing. True or false? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Westwood, California. I served up uh, plenty of UCLA Bruins, and the rumors are true. They don't tip that well. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Who did you who did you deliver to? Who, which Bruins did you deliver to? Football, basketball, which ones? Which uh, ones? But by the looks of it, it was probably like a wrestling team. I don't know. Uh, I, I, would, I would hope that the, the basketball players would be balling more, but uh, I was usually – Asked to be paid in bong grips, and you know I have to pay the rent, but I I did accept sometimes. I you know that leads us to freak brothers, right? It's all connected. It's like a tapestry you're weaving together, Blake. Uh, no question about that. Uh, last one for you: true or false? For the entire first season of War- of Workaholics, you and Adam Devine actually lived in the house where your characters live in the show. You were convinced the show was going to get canceled, so you did it to save money. Is that true or false for Workaholics? It's absolutely true. Not only to save money, but to literally have uh, Comedy Central pay our rent while I while we lived there. They were paying for us to, to live there because that was the set of the show. It was pretty ingenious, and it just so happened that it worked out that we got more seasons. So living rent free. So you basically said, did did Comedy Central know that you were tenants as well as uh, employees, contracted employees? Did they yeah, know? it was kind of like a two for one where we were also like set security, so nothing would get stolen. It was like twenty four <laughs> hour surveillance. It was perfect. So when we're watching Workaholics and the place had that lived in look, it's because it literally was being lived in by you and Adam Devine. That's exactly what. Oh it yeah, it was like a running joke. Anytime there would be dirty dishes in the sink, we'd be like, definitely don't do the dishes because it's continuity. You have to keep them dirty. <laughs> yeah, continuity it issues. Oh man, yeah, exactly. Fantastic. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.